Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today and we are back. So sorry for the lack of videos recently. Did want to take a little bit of a break for the holidays. We took about that week off. Hope you guys did enjoy your holidays as well. Merry Christmas and also of course that Happy New Year coming up. And with the end of 2023, I thought it might be fun to go down some of the best Funko Pops of the year. This was the biggest year for Funko in terms of the amount of figures that they had released. So there are a lot of different pops that you can choose from. I think a lot of people's lists are going to be totally different. But today, I'm going to be sharing my personal top 10 favorite Funko Pops of 2023. Now this year has been a little bit weird, you know, with the move and also me trying to cut back on the amount of pops that I am buying. I have not been able to get every single pop that is on this list. I do have a good amount of them. I did try to choose ones that I do have so I could show them off for you guys and everything. But most of these pops actually I do not have in the collection, but they were still too good to leave off of the list. And now before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys are new to the channel, you do enjoy Funko content, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you enjoy it. It does make a massive difference. And if you never want to miss a video, you can always hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. Let's go ahead and jump in to our list. And like I said, this was very difficult to get down to 10, but I think we did a pretty good job. So the first figure on our list at number 10 is actually one that I got very recently. I'm not sure if you guys have actually seen the video yet of me getting this, but I think it definitely is the number 10 pop on my list. So I did want to go ahead and include it. And this is the Skating Barbie and Skating Ken 2-pack from the new Barbie movie. Such a cool pop and so fun. I love the Barbie movie. So when we got this pop, I definitely loved it immediately and thought it was one of the best pops of the year. So it comes in on my list at number 10. So going over to number nine on our list, this is another multi-pack, but I really love this one. I absolutely loved this new movie. This is for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, and this is the TMNT Turtles 4-pack with Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And this is actually really awesome because it does glow in the dark. It was an exclusive to Amazon, and if you guys have maybe followed Pop for a while or maybe looked at older Pops, the original four pack of TMNT does have a glow in the dark version, also, I believe, from Amazon. And that one is a grail worth four, five, six hundred dollars, something like that. I think it has kind of shifted since this pop came out. But the fact that we now got a new updated one with the new movie, I love the designs and I love the glow in this thing. And just the detail with the weapons and everything is just super cool. And overall, I just absolutely love this film. So it makes me love the pop even more. Getting to number eight on the list, this is actually the first pop on the list that I do not have in the collection quite yet. I do plan on getting it because obviously I do like it a lot. And that is from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This is Darth Vader with the mask cut. Such a cool pop. We can see the great detail with the mask, the way that it's cut in half, and you have Anakin's face showing. I really loved that moment in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and just making that moment into a pop was definitely just super cool. Now getting up to number seven, we are having our first Marvel pop. Usually when I do these lists, I have a good amount of Marvel figures on that list just because I'm a huge Marvel fan. But this year did have a few really cool Marvel Pops and one of my favorites was from Across the Spider-Verse and this is Scarlet Spider. So cool seeing Ben Riley Scarlet Spider in the movie voiced by Andy Samberg which made me love it even more. But this pop is such a cool one, some amazing detail and I just love the design of the character in the movie and of course also in this pop. Now getting into number six on the list, we actually have back-to-back Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Pops just because it was such a great movie and some really good pops to go along with it. This is one that came out in the wave after the movie, but it's definitely such an amazing figure, my favorite from the entire set. This is Peter B. Parker and Mayday Parker, the Hot Topic exclusive. Such a fun pop and it was amazing seeing them in the movie. And then of course now getting this pop, especially since we did not get a Peter B. Parker pop from the first wave of pops for the first movie. And so the fact we're getting it for the second movie is even better. But I just absolutely love this thing. And look at little Mayday. She is just so adorable in the holder. 
Now getting into number five on the list is going to be another pop I do not have. There are actually a few of these pops in the top five I do not have in the collection, but they were just too cool to leave out. And number five, we have from WonderCon in 2023, Freddy Funko as a clown. This was a very limited piece, but such an amazing looking pop. I definitely want to add this to the collection at some point. Just look at the detail on that. I love the colors and everything. It just looks really, really fun. And it made it in a way that wasn't creepy like most clowns are, which I do appreciate. But definitely such a great Freddy Funko. Now coming in at number four is one that I thought I would have in time for this video, but for some reason my order keeps getting delayed from Amazon, but I of course still want to include it. Number four, we have Paddington Bear, the flocked version from Amazon. Not only is Paddington Bear such an amazing character and those movies are fantastic, cannot wait for the third one to come out, but also just the figure is so adorable. And the fact that they made a flocked version over for Amazon is even better. So you can see him holding the suitcase, having the trench coat, the hat on. Absolutely perfection. And it absolutely had to be very high on my list coming in at number four. So we have now arrived at the top three of my favorite Funko Pops of the year. Now, before we get into the top three, I do want to stop and have a disclaimer and kind of an honorable mention of some of the pops that would not be in these top 10. I think it would be important to mention that I decided not to include any of the Funko Pops from Camp Fun Days this year, just because there were so many Freddy Funkos and there were so many amazing ones. This entire list could be all Camp Fun Days pops, just from the Anakin Skywalker Freddy Funko Pop, the Chewbacca Freddy Funko Pop, Ted Lasso, number five. There are just so many amazing Freddy Funko Pops that came out for Camp Fun Days, like we always do. So I did not want to include them just because I did not want to have those Camp Fun Days Pops override the list. So I just want to make that disclaimer. So with that out of the way, let's get into the top three. And at number three on the list is coming from The Simpsons. And this is the brand new Hot Topic exclusive Itchy and Scratchy 2-pack. Such an amazing figure. And I love how they did the box and made them smaller characters as well. I am just a huge fan of The Simpsons, of course. If you followed the channel for a while, you know that. And I also love the Treehouse of Horror Pops, too. Have a number of them in the collection. The detail with Scratchy holding the brain and then Itchy being a like skeleton there and having the bone come out of his mouth. Absolutely perfect. And we do already have both of them as just regular common figures. But the fact they made it completely different and Treehouse of Horror themed, I thought was amazing. And so I definitely had to put it high and it comes in at number three. And sliding in at number two on the list this year is actually a figure that I did pick up recently as well. We did get it during the Black Friday sale from our friends over at Boom Loot Toys. We absolutely loved going there and got some really amazing figures, including this one, which is one of my favorites. And this is going to be from the NFT Nickelodeon wave, Freddy Funko as Reptar. This thing is just so amazing. absolutely love the Rugrats and Nickelodeon, of course, Freddy Funko as well. So the fact that we were able to combine Reptar and Freddy Funko is just absolutely perfect. This was the royalty Freddy Funko for that wave. So you had to collect every single card in the set in order to get this. We did not do that, but luckily we were able to get a steal of a deal during Black Friday and grab this to take home. I absolutely love this thing. It's limited to 27 100 pieces so still pretty limited you can see on the back where it does show that nft card as well just the fact that it's so limited and also just some of my favorite looking like freddy funkos i just really really enjoy this so it had to be up at number two now coming in at number one is a pop that i think a lot of people are going to say is the number one pop of the year and i'm not going to disagree and that one is definitely it has to be the Fairly Odd Parents 3 pack from San Diego Comic Con, where we have Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda. Such an amazing pop. Now, this one you can see I have actually gotten signed by a couple of the voice actors for both Cosmo and Wanda when we went to ToonCon earlier this year. I am still missing Tara Strong for Timmy. So, next time she's around at a con, we will absolutely be finding her and getting her signature to complete this 
but just the pop itself is absolutely amazing. All the detail on it with the way that they're floating, their crowns in the air as well, and then Timmy holding that Crimson Chin comic. Just absolutely everything about this is perfection and one of the best pops that people have been asking for for a very long time. So it's a very much deserved number one pop of 2023. Well, there we have it, guys. There's our look at our top 10 list of Funko Pops in 2023. Like I said, there were so many figures. There was the most Funko Pops that Funko had released ever in a single year. That was in 2023. So there were a lot to go through. Fortunately, there was a lot of bad pops or kind of mid pops, I would say. But there were a good amount of really good or great pops, great molds, great designs, just great characters in general. So this is my list. Of course, it is going to be more biased to what I love with animation and also Star Wars and Marvel and things like that. If you love some different things like anime, I'm sure you'll have a much different list than me. But I would love to hear what your guys' top 10 lists are for 2023 Funko Pops. Let me know what your top 10 list is in the comments down below. But this has been an amazing 2023, guys. We have grown so much on the channel, more than doubled our subscriber count. We're getting so close to 5,000 subscribers, which is insane. So if you have not done so already, by the way, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Help us reach that 5,000 goal. Also leave a like on this video as well to help this video get around to more people. I would just love for us to share some of our favorite pops from this year keep it positive in the community but i hope you guys did enjoy this video today and thank you so much for watching and as always we'll see you again real soon